Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 12 of Chronic Woodwork. Today we are building a curved wooden shield. As always, our plan begins with a general outline of what we want to build. I wanted to build a curved wooden shield made of 2x4s. That's about 24 inches tall and 18 inches wide. With these dimensions in mind, I was able to determine that the shield would be made of six pieces of 2x4. The part I had more trouble determining was at what angle those boards needed to be cut at in order to create the curved effect that I was looking for. The first resource I found online was for a stave drum. The math for this is relatively simple. 360 degrees divided by the number of staves divided by two. In order to apply this to my shield, I created a pie chart and decided that I wanted the curve of my shield to encompass one eighth of the circle. Long story short is that my final equation was 360 divided by 48 divided by two or 3.75 degrees. It was then time to take a couple passes at the table saw, each at 3.75 degrees. One note to be careful is that these angles will not be cut parallel. I then cut the boards to final length and prepared them to glue together using some painter's tape. You can see in the video that the angles, once compressed, will create the curved effect we're looking for in our shield. I then applied glue and used some zip ties to create clamping pressure. I kind of had to go full MacGyver on this one, but then just let it set up and walk away from it for about a day. After about 24 hours, it should be safe to remove the zip ties and tape. I then employed my newly purchased spoke shave to soften some of the angles where our boards are joined. It definitely took a little while to sharpen and get used to, but it's pretty awesome. Once tuned up, it's definitely a highly effective tool. I'll post the link in the description below for the tool I bought. Due to the concave nature of the inside of the shield, I had to employ my ankle grinder with the Holy Galahad bit. I didn't take too much time or care flattening these surfaces out because this thing's going to hang on a wall as a decorative item. It was then time to fix the template to the shield. If there are any questions about how to print off a large scale template from your home computer, I'll post a link in the description below for one of my other videos where I go through step by step of how to print off a template. I then took the shield to the bandsaw and started roughing out the shape. Make sure you're careful about where you set your camera up or else you'll knock your phone over like I did. It's all good. Set your camera back up and finish roughing out the shield. I then sanded down to 120 grit and applied the first coat of stain. I'm using Minwax Special Walnut. The customer wanted an asterisk on the front of his shield, so I didn't ask any questions and just cut it out on the bandsaw. When it came time to fix the asterisk to the shield, it proved a little tricky, so I used some brad nails and glue and still had trouble getting the plywood to conform to the curve of the shield. So I used some clamps and some more MacGyver skills. I then applied a final coat of stain to the shield, along with a clear coat of spray-on poly. Dixie remains unimpressed. I installed some mounting hardware on the back and called this one a wrap. I really enjoyed this project. Sure, it was a little bit out of left field, but I enjoyed it all the same. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more, please subscribe. If not, we will catch you next time. Thanks. See ya.